Say, Doc, I heard you like him young. The Dr. Disrespect situation is absolutely insane. And what makes it more insane is that it keeps on evolving every single day. So if you don't know what happened, Dr. Disrespect, who is one of the most recognizable figures on the internet today, got into a little bit of trouble. And the reason this is such a big deal is because the allegations lev levied against him are pretty insane, to say the least. Because if you've been living under a rock or just regularly go outside and don't pay attention to Twitter, on June 21st, a bombshell got dropped on the website that said that Dr. Disrespect got banned from Twitch because he was talking to a minor. This came to us by the by a former employee, Cody Connors, who tweeted out, He got banned because got caught sexting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read in plain text. Case closed. Gang. Now for obvious reasons, this was as subtle as Hurricane Katrina, and this quickly spread across the internet fairly quickly with many speculating as to if this was even true in the first place, because Mr. Connors had demonstrated that he wasn't the most reliable source, as he had supposedly been selling this information about Dr. Disrespect to sell tickets to some of his concerts. So there was just this big cloud of uncertainty around it, and there was anonymous Twitch employees coming out and co-opting these statements, and Dr. Disrespect really wasn't paying himself any favors, because anytime he would address it, he'd be pretty vague about it, basically saying that there was nothing legally wrong and that he hadn't done anything illegal. So not a great way to defend yourself. And one of the big shoes to fall was the gaming company Midnight Society that Dr. Disrespect had helped co-found. And on the 24th, they said this. Friday, we became aware of an allegation against one of our co-founders, Guy Beam, AKA Dr. Disrespect. We assumed his innocence and began speaking with parties involved. In order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and individuals, we needed to act. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam immediately. While these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept, it is our duty to act with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved, especially with the 55 developers and families we have employed among with our community of players. And after they came out and made their statement, it really opened a lot of people's eyes as to how serious this all was because if they did their own investigation, which really was separate from Dr. Disrespect, you know some shit was going down because they had the proper resources to look into all this and it was starting to paint a really bad picture for Dr. Disrespect and it would get worse from there. It would kind of go like that for the next week as Doc would keep it on the down low and not much had really come out. That is until on June 25th, Bloomberg made an article basically confirming that Dr. Disrespect had gotten kicked off of Twitch because of inappropriate conversations with the minor, which they had interviewed three anonymous Twitch employees who had said that this was the case. Dr. Disrespect, the Bloomberg article came out. And actually on the same exact day, Dr. Disrespect would make his infamous statement about the whole situation. And it confirmed all the fears of every Dr. Disrespect fan and was just absolutely awful. Who let this guy cook? I mean, seriously, it was terrible. So let's read it. This is a very emotional reading of Dr. Disrespect's statement to his fans. And it kind of addresses everything, but like I said, this is pretty terrible. I'm gonna kinda read through and give my thoughts every now and then, and then I'll have a big wrap up at the end, so just stick with me. <clears throat> the Twitch ban. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about, and I'm always willing to accept responsibility which is why I'm here now. Keep this in mind, this is gonna be really funny in a little bit here. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people and have high career ambitions and families, and I never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Everyone wants to know why I've been banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind those messages? The answer is absolutely not. 
These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. I just want to pause there. What does that mean, Doc? What does this mean? Sometimes leaning to inappropriate. I guess I gotta finish. But nothing more. Nothing illegal happened, no pictures were shared, no crimes were committed. I never met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. He's not legally a, a pedo, you guys. Just to let you know, he's not. Now from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. It's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Yes, yes it was, Mr. Doctor Disrespect. Now with that being said, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone and I'm no fucking predator or pedophile. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. But I think I've said what I needed to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made its decision back in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends, that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said it all sooner. You guys have always showed me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the fucking best community and circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know you've always been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this, to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero life experience, I don't give a fuck about you. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. But I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made those mistakes all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, and as mentioned on stream, I am coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. Hmm, that was, that was really bad. A lot, lot worse than I expected to be, actually. Uh, so, Champions Club, I think, I think it's Jover. I think it's finished. He's... There's no way he's coming back from this. Now, I should also mention that he edited this three times and tried to take out the word minor and put it back in, I would assume, to be more transparent and to take responsibility even though when he originally posted it, minor wasn't in there. But yeah, so he admitted to basically everything. And I have a few questions about this, of course. My biggest question is, what does he mean that these conversations would sometimes become inappropriate? To me, as just a normal person with free will, I'm gonna say this. If we take out the element that Mr. Disrespect is an adult and there was a minor, let's just take that and throw it out the window. For a second, let's just say there's two consenting adults and they have conversations that sometimes become inappropriate. To me, that sounds like sexting. And it sounds like he's trying to skate around the fact that he was sexting this person and delivering it in a way that would look a little bit better, that sounds a little bit better. I wasn't sexting a minor, you guys. I was inappropriately communicating with one. Sometimes, of course, not all the time, because why would I want to sext a minor, right? <laughs> That's just what it sounds like to me and it doesn't make any fucking sense. You're taking responsibility, but you're completely dumbing it down so that it makes you look better. Okay, cool. Secondly, he's really harping on this thing that he's not legally charged with anything. I had no legal things have come about this. I'm not legally a criminal. I am not legally a pedo, but that doesn't matter when the court of public opinion has already gone against you, doc. The court of public opinion has labeled you as a pedo, and rightfully so, when you've been nothing but shady at the very least about this whole situation. You could have came out with statements very soon, or like right after Mr. Connors had leaked all that stuff about you, you could have came out and had a more clear statement, but you were saying, no, 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 
I'm no pedo, I'm just a freak. And also lastly, what bothers me the most is that this is coming from the same person that when he was initially banned from Twitch, he cried and complained so much that it was so unfair and Twitch hates me and it's all these dumb idiot haters, my haters, that got me banned. Well, it seems like that's a pretty good reason to be banned, Doc. Especially if you are inappropriately contacting a minor. That sounds like a pretty good fucking reason to be banned, don't you think? So it's just really disappointing coming from someone like Dr. Disrespect who has been this massive figure on the internet for years at this point. Dr. Disrespect has inspired so many people to get into streaming, to become fans of streamers, completely changed people's lives, and for him to be the biggest piece of garbage out there is sad, but in this today's internet age where it seems like every other fucking famous person gets caught talking to minors, it's sadly not surprising, really. And of course the reactions to this have been all over the place. You had people like Nick Merckx and Tim the Tatman who at first were coming up to bat for Dr. Disrespect after assuming this was just the trans media coming after Dr. Disrespect. Oh, yo, checking in. Uh, look, I opened Twitter. <sighs> Bunch of my mentions are he, they, she, she, hey, they. I, I identify as a helicopter. And I seen, I seen the a couple tweets about the doc. I'm as taken back as a lot of you guys are, okay? But the fact remains that these are some crazy accusations. Crazy, big time accusations. And until we know more, until we know them as fact, until they've been proven with evidence, what are we talking about? What's anybody talking about? Now, as far as the leave the little kids alone stuff, this doesn't make it any further from the truth. Leave little children out of your But. Then, after Doc admitted to everything, they kind of changed their tune pretty quickly. Checking in. I'm seeing everything on Twitter, and uh, I read through Doc's tweet. And in that very tweet, uh, he basically confirms that, you know, he was texting an underage girl, and it went weird sometimes, you know. And, and look, just to, just to be blunt and straightforward, man, uh, it, that's, that's inexcusable. It's unacceptable, right? There's no excuse for something like that. And, and I can't support it. I can't support it. I can't defend it. And... Uh, Look, the boys and I are torn up over it too, man, because we played a lot of games with the guy and, and it feels a little weird, but what can you do, you know? So I just wanted to update you guys on, on my thoughts and how I'm feeling. And uh, I mean, look, I, I, hope, I hope you guys have a good day, all right? A few moments later. People think that we're like best friends. Like we're hanging out. I don't even know the guy outside of a wig. You had people who had been saying from the very beginning that Doc was a weirdo and the way he was reacting to this whole situation was fucking weird like any normal person would assume. And like I said, the situation just keeps getting weird because on the 27th, a couple days after Doc had made his initial statement, it had been rumored. Now this is just a, a rumor with some evidence that could support this, that back in 2017, when Doc had initially cheated on his wife, he had supposedly cheated on her with a former trans sex worker. Yeah, I'm getting a report now that uh, Nick Merckx definitely doesn't agree with Dr. Disrespect now. He says he, is, he wants nothing to do with them after finding that out. There's some leaked messages that this person has shared, and I don't really want to go through them as there appears to be deleted messages, but they are fucking weird. <laughs> I'll tell you that Dr. Disrespect is a freak, and with that coming out, kind of confirming the timeline of things a little bit, somewhat, just alleged, I will say. And to add some proof to her claim, she screen recorded a video where she went over all of their DMs and also showed that Doc did have her blocked on Twitter. I don't know why he'd have her blocked if he didn't know who she was. And as well, people went through her old tweets and saw that she took a picture with Doc at TwitchCon in 2017, which matches up with around the time that he cheated on his wife. Just to remind everyone, this is all alleged still, because there appears to be deleted DMs on both sides of their DM exchange. So with this situation and Doc talking to a minor, he really is the two-time. Please laugh. And it's just really funny to me that Dr. Disrespect and Nick Merckx and all these people are always so concerned about 
what other people are doing when it's like, hey, you should take a look at the people that you associate yourself with. And for Dr. Disrespect Yourself, you should take a look in the mirror, buddy, because I don't think you can blame the trans people on this one, man. You should really just uh, leave the kids alone, like Nick Merckx likes to say. Just leave those kids alone. And remember, this is the same person that said this as well. Activision pushing water bongs, marijuana, get high levels, drugs, and $100 camos on gamers, but they remove Nick Merck's skin for him saying leave the kids alone. Activision is ran by a bunch of idiots. Biggest suit and tie phonies in the industry. It's kind of exhausting to hear about because we haven't really, besides that coming out, we haven't really heard that much come out since. So it's assumed that Dr. Disrespect is gonna disappear for a little bit and come back and hope that everyone has just kind of forgot about his whole misdeeds, which he is really dumb to think that because it's gonna follow him for the rest of his career because the internet never forgets or forgives for that matter. And this really must be the year of the miners as we get this man Drake getting exposed and now we got the doc getting exposed. It's not gonna look good for him if he's trying to practice medicine again, but who knows, it's the internet. They'll probably forgive him and they'll probably give him a subreddit for coming out with this. It's just a fetish, you guys. And I think actually what he should do is something that FaZe Banks tweeted out that I completely agree with that would completely change Dr. Disrespect's image. Let's give it a look. Dr. Disrespect, abandon the persona entirely, drop the act and ditch the costume. Fire up the stream and play dumb. Pretend like you have nothing to do with the Doc character and agree with the general consensus that he's a creep. Call yourself Mr. Respect, it's your only play brain light bulb. I completely agree. I feel like Mr. Respect would have very big pull with the internet. Disavow everything and say you've changed. That is the internet 101 way of getting forgiven by everybody. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. So while I was in the process of editing this video, some more information came out about the Dr. Disrespect situation that I figure I should add here. So obviously I'm gonna get to it right now. But a content creator by the name of Willie Mac Show released his video recently going over everything that I've talked about basically, except for he discovered that the New York Times article isn't as cut and dry as it might seem at face value. The main crux of that being no one has seen the Twitch whispers from Dr. Disrespect to the minor, which is one of the biggest pieces of information in all this. No one from the Bloomberg side of things to even the New York Times article side of things had 100% proof of Dr. Disrespect doing anything wrong, which obviously is a really big deal. Sure, I need to know, do you have the messages? Have you seen them? Do you know who may have them? He says, I do not have the messages. Only a very few have access within Twitch. I told him that I don't understand why the messages couldn't be leaked, and he replied, that seems very misguided. I don't know why people are clamoring for this. He reiterates that we have to trust what Twitch is doing, and that someone in his position as a journalist has completely verified the information, and it has passed both the journalistic and legal bar. If you noticed, he's not answering my questions, so I repeat myself. Just to verify, you did see them with your own eyes. He ignores me and tells me I could track down primary sources, but he won't tell me where to start. So I asked the same question again. Just to clarify, you saw the messages with your own eyes. This is not some word of mouth shit. And he replies, the whispers and statements were seen by sources who had direct knowledge slash access to them. Remember when I said that Slasher loves giving off the perception that he's more credible than he actually is? I repeat myself for the fourth time. But did you see them? Please be direct. And he finally says, no, I mentioned that already. Really? Because I had a different interpretation when you said you completely verified the information. Being pitched is a case closed out allegation. Cody, the ex-employee who broke the story, has not seen the messages. Slasher, the journalist who's been taking all the credit, has not seen the messages. The Bloomberg journalist has not seen the messages. Twitch apparently can't release the messages because it will compromise the victim. Twitch apparently can't redact the messages because it would be illegal. Twitch apparently can't give a statement because that will ruin the legal case. Oh, but also there is no case or investigation taking place. All of this is stemming from an anonymous source that used to work at Twitch's trust and safety. But the only damning part of this story is Doc's tweet responding to Cody, admitting he inappropriately messaged a minor. So basically, if Dr. Disrespect didn't snitch on himself, he could plausibly deny that anything happened because no one has seen the Twitch whisper messages. So yet yeah, remains no unequivocal proof that Dr. Disrespect has really done anything besides him saying it himself. Allegations as serious as this, you need to have 
as good and as clear as information as you can and there's still just so much muddy information around this whole situation. And through this information being shared lies a new avenue in which Dr. Disrespect could skirt away from this situation mostly unharmed. He could say that a lot of the information pressed against him is speculative and that there's no hard evidence of him doing anything. And that the reason that he put up the tweet when he did it was to save face in some way or that he was panicking in some way. And because of bad reporting, Dr. Disrespect could easily hide all of this, which is the worst thing about it. But I'm not really surprised. This whole situation has been nothing but cloudy and odd. And that's really all I have to add. This whole situation has left a very bad taste in my mouth and just leaves me on this last statement. If you are a famous internet personality or ever plan to pursue being a content creator or influencer full time, please, for the love of God, leave the kids alone. Leave the kids alone, man. Just go for people your own age. What What is so wrong with that? Just please stop, stop it. it. Get, Get some help. help. Unless you want to just ruin your career, go ahead. That's fine by me, but I'm so sick of these dumbasses who keep on doing this and act surprised as it's like, uh, you guys, I didn't know she was a minor. I, she obviously didn't look like she was 15. She, I didn't ask for an ID or anything, but she definitely, to me at least, who is a master of knowing how old someone is just by looking at them, looked to be old enough to me. I'm sorry. So, yeah, don't do that. Please, just don't, don't do that. Don't make me make a video about you, please. Because I will. Hey, I think I'm finished with this situation for now. If any updates come out that are significant enough, I will cover them. But I'm going to have to go shower every single crevice in my body after thinking about this. So from me, I hope you had an incredible time watching this and I hope you have an incredible rest of your day. Like, subscribe, and comment, and do all the things that the algorithm likes. I will see you in the next one and I hope you have an incredible day. Peace.